So I've got a whiskey shopping list a mile long, which in honesty, I'm not making a dent in. But on that list are some dream whiskies, and the Whiskey Cove challenged me way back in November last year, I believe, to list out 10 dream drams. Some of these are just bottles I've got my eye on, some are super expensive, some are no longer available, and some I just wish they existed. Thanks for joining me, whiskey people. I'm Jeff. This is whiskey. Let's crack on. Jeff Whisker. Yes, that is a new Jeff Whiskey logo. I couldn't help myself. I had to do another one, and it's got that little slap bottle thing in there because that's all people care about for this channel. Uh, critique it. Let me know what you think. You know, tell me it's bad. Tell me it's great. Please tell me it's great. And you'll also see that there's a slightly different look. I'm currently building what I refer to as the whiskey nook. And it's a little section of the house where I can leave all the lighting and the fiddly bits all set up. And it saves me probably a good hour setting up and an hour taking down. I plan to do a big like whiskey collection video as I move all the bottles into my little nook. And then do a rundown and explain the whole new setup and get all, you know, YouTube and whiskey tubey about everything. It's very much a work in progress, and it's the reason why there's been such a long delay after saying in my last video how I'm gonna go all in. Yeah, that's embarrassing. But anyway, let's hit the ground running and start off on the dream list and be a bit realistic. So, first on the hit list is Lefroy Glore. At £60, it's close to the highest prices I've yet to pay on whiskey, but this bottle is most likely the first bottle on this list that I'll be able to get my little hands on. Soon. The Lefroy 10 Sherry Oak was my Lefroy Awakening, and since then I've enjoyed the Standard 10, the Calf Strength, and the Quarter Cask. Therefore, this non age statement had to be on the list because so many people said positive things about it, and I'm happy to go down that Lafroy rabbit hole. So, coming in a little pricier and only at £85 is Redbreast 15. Now, I say only as some of the bottles on this list just get crazy prices. I love Redbreast 12, and from what I've heard, the added ABV and the extra age just brings this bottle to a whole new level. I've got the 12 cash strength, which in honesty didn't blow me away as I hoped, but this is certainly on the wish list. Le Cheg 18. When I first started putting this list together, I had Talisker 18, as there was no way I could afford it now, especially with those crazy price increases. However, Roy Aquavite had me as a guest on a blind whiskey challenge, and I got to try the Talisker 18. And by doing it blind, it let me review the whiskey without all the whole kind of expectations behind it. And while that sample was really good, it was beaten by Le Cheg 18. Again, around £85, I would certainly take this over the Redbreast 15 any day, but a man can dream. Glengoyne Teapot Dram. I believe I tried a sample of batch 7 of the Glengoyne Teapot Dram. Maybe it was batch 6. Either way, at around £120, we are getting into the very pricey territory. I remember of the sample, it was this lovely Dr Pepper, thick and fizzy, just wonderful stuff. And I don't know how much batch variation is in there, but I'd be happy with any of them to be honest. Glenmorangie Signet. So keeping on the non-age statement train, the Glenmorangie Signet is definitely on the list. I was lucky to have been able to tag along to an online tasting where they had this beauty in the lineup. There was so much chocolate and cereal and sweet coffee, and I didn't even drink coffee, but it was, was amazing. Now, I almost bought this for myself as a 30th birthday present, but the £150 price tag was just too much. And sadly, it never seems to go on sale. So for now, it remains on the dream list. Bimba Peated New Make. Now, I think I've enjoyed every Bimba I've tried, but I'm yet to get my hands on a bottle. Yet yeah, trying that Bimba Peated New Make, it was just phenomenal. Like, it was really amazing. And I know they released a bottle of this New Make, but it was long gone before I could get a whiff of it. I imagine it was probably priced at my range as well. So on the dream list, I would happily take a bottle of the new make or once it's been aged for three years. I'm easy. Whistle Pig, the Bog Hoss, Whistle Pig, the Boss, Whistle Pig, the Boss Hog Edition. Now there's a few Boss Hog Editions and frankly, I'll take any of them. Whistle Pig has hand down been my favorite rye. And in honesty, I'm a sucker for that little pig on top. Now it'd be great to see how good some of their fancy stuff is. And look at that little Samurai Scientist bottle. That is certainly on the list. Brook Lardy, 29 year old, 1992, Black Art 9.1. So there's two reasons for Brook Lardy, 29 year old, 1992, Black Art 9.1 specifically being on the list. One is that the Black Art bottles are meant to be amazing. And two, this was distilled the same year I was born. 
so I think most of us whiskey enthusiasts have like an emotional attachment to whiskey and connect to certain bottles. So having a bottle that was distilled the year of your birth is always like a, a must have on a whiskey collector's tick list. And this bottle in particular was distilled and then Brook Gladdy closed and then this was released after it reopened. So it adds the whole kind of mystery and backstory and faff to it. Kilker and eight year old port cask. So this sadly was a bottle I wasn't quick or lucky enough to get. At a bargain of 48 pounds, I was super eager to do all I could to get my hands on one. Whether it was constantly checking all the online whiskey stores, keeping eyes out on whiskey, uh, whiskey groups on Facebook and Discord. Yet sadly, all the shelves were cleared in seconds. And while I managed to grab the sherry cast version they released at the same time, I was then later told that they've oversold and I couldn't have that bottle. So you're just gonna kick me when I'm down, huh? Now I don't hide my love for Kilcarran and I'm a huge fan of Portcast, so this had all the makings of a Jeff Whiskey 24 out of 24. And thanks to the wonderful whiskey community, I've had about three samples so far of the stuff, and painfully it's as good as I dreamed. And it's even made me, for the first time, seriously look at the massively inflated secondary market, because once these bottles sold out, the next auction, floods of these bottles came online, and they all seemed to sell between like 80 and 110 pounds, which... From what I've tried, the whiskey could be worth that, but I am cheap. Kilcare and heavily peated port cask. So to my knowledge, this whiskey doesn't exist. There's the eight year old cash strength port, and then there's the heavily peated range. Both are stunning, but imagine them together. Now that is the stuff of dreams. Right, and onto a little bonus bottle. I've searched Master of Malt to find the most expensive Macallan. So on the list has to be the Macallan Sir Peter Blake 1967 Anecdotes of Ages collection down to work. At a wonderful bargain of 50,000, it'd be great to see it opened. Now if I had that bottle, I don't know if I had the willpower to not sell it on, because that money obviously could go on a lot better things than whiskey, if there's such a thing. But it'd be great to just imagine that being opened, shared around with people, probably nothing mind blowing, but you know, a bit of fun. Mediocre, but then again, it's not for drinking. So that's my list. I was probably meant to challenge people now to jump onto it, but this is something that was a few months back. I'm late to the party. So anyone jump on it, let me know in the comments your list. If there's anything I should add to mine, yeah, it'd be great to hear your onions on it. So hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna have the setup all properly done and we'll do like a, I could do like a full collection video of all the bottles or I don't know, something more interesting. So if you've enjoyed this video, slap a like. If you've hated it, slap a dislike. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already because it really does help me out. But enough of that faff, all the best and cheers to the next one. I haven't got a glass. Right there. One second. Cheers.